just a part of the journey. Just a little bit of adversity that I have to work through. Sunday was not a good day for the Boston Celtics, but it was a good day for Kemba Walker. Walker looked like himself while scoring a season best 25 points during Boston's loss to the Wizards down in DC. This was the Walker that we've all come to know. The one who can create a shot at the rim and create a shot beyond the arc, all while being a sharpshooter from all over the floor. And it's no secret that he struggled to find his rhythm this season, but this game might have been the step in the right direction that he's been needing all season long. He, he played with some, some heart in a lot of situations tonight and was the, was the loudest voice on the team all night. Uh, or all afternoon. I mean, it's been, it's been tough. You know, I, I've been struggling, you know, but you know, just a, just a part of the journey, you know. Um, just a little bit of adversity that I have to work through. He's a pro. He's a winner. He's tough. He cares. He's all the, He's all what's good. Now, during Sunday's loss, nearly every player on the Celtics looked like they could use a couple days off, but unfortunately. That isn't gonna happen anytime soon. The Celtics will have Monday off, but then they'll jump into a stretch of three games in four nights. That'll tip off Tuesday against Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And then the Celtics will host Trey Young and the Hawks both Wednesday and Friday night. Now all three of those games will be broadcast on NBC Sports Boston for you fans to tune into. Reporting for Celtics.com, I'm Mark D'Amico.